Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Remembered as just a statistic, the family of a woman gunned down in Detroit speaking out determined to keep her legacy alive. It tops our news tonight at 5.30. Diamond Shoe was shot and killed last weekend in a business plaza on Detroit's west side. And her family rushed to the scene, came face to face with something nobody should ever have to live through. Tonight they're speaking out and sharing their pain to our Megan Woods. And Megan joins us now live this evening. I can't even imagine the heartache they're going through, Megan. That's right. We spoke to Diamond's mom and her aunt. They say she lived up to her name, that she shined bright. Her mom even says she was more than a light, but a high beam. We're in the parking lot right now where Diamond lost her life. If you look behind me, there's a memorial made in her honor. Now, Diamond's mom says Diamond was in a party. She stepped outside to take a phone call, and within seconds, she was shot and killed. Looking through old photos will never be the same for this mother. That's what I call a baby girl. I can stare here saying, Mom. Diamond Chu, also known as Reese, was Sylvia Taylor's eldest daughter. Everybody loved her. She loved basketball, loved her makeup, loved doing hair, loved Halloween, and most of all, loved all her nieces and nephews. Early Sunday morning, her motherly instincts told her something wasn't right. And then her middle daughter called. I was cold. She might like teeth chattering cold, like mm, I'm real cold all of a sudden. It's like 3 30 in the morning, and I got a call about 15 minutes later. And you know, my daughter was panicking, Mom, 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 come, come. You know, somebody shot recent. Diamond's aunt, Sierra Fowler, says as silly and social Diamond was, her murder has left many speechless. It's a numbing pain. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell you. When I got the phone call, I said it was the loudest silence I've ever experienced. As this mother is faced with burying her child and picking photos for an obituary, Diamond's killer is still nowhere to be found. And for to see him do that, just careless and no regard to life, he needs to be off the street because at the end of the day, none of us are safe as long as he's walking around. Just a heartbreaking story. Police have not released any additional information, but say that suspect is still out there. And so many people have supported that family, but they're saying the real support comes when people who have information about who pulled that trigger come forward. So if you have any information, you're asked to call police. Live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.